Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at importing objects. In this example, I'm going to use some objects that were drawn in SketchUp that I'm showing you here now. These are the scenic elements used in the Chateau demo project available on our website. So let's try and import these. From inside Capture, we go to the File menu and select Import Model. Then we select the SketchUp file we want to import from. Press Open. After which Capture displays a long list of textual information. Let's get back to that a little bit later and just press Continue for the time being. Capture now opens an import window that shows us the contents of the SketchUp file that we can import. I could now proceed with simply importing all of the objects, but I want to show you that it's also possible to select individual objects that we want to import if, for instance, there's something we want to leave out. There are also some options in the bottom right corner that lets us choose what we want to do with the layers of the file. The default setting is referenced, which means that all layers actually used by the objects we import will be included. If instead we choose all, we will be importing all layers, regardless of whether they are used or not. And if we select none, then no layers will be imported. I will leave it to reference, the default option, and select all of the objects again. Finally, we use the drag and drop button to drag the objects into the project file we want to import them. As you can see, the objects appear immediately, which allows us to place them where we need them to be. Even so, Capture does ask us whether we want to place them exactly here or retain the original position from the file we were importing them from. I'll choose original position in this case. And as you can see, we now have imported these objects into the design. Let's redo the process and talk a little bit about a couple of things I left out. Let's go back to import model, select the file, after which this list appears. Now inside this list, you see some useful information. For instance, here Capture reports an error related to two-sided material applications. Sometimes files you are importing contain features that Capture does not support. And as an example of that, we have this error, because in SketchUp you can apply different materials to both sides of an object, which Capture does not support. This does not mean that the import did not work. It only means that some aspects of the design in the file will be missing in Capture. If there were no issues during import, this window simply does not appear and the import window opens immediately. If you are importing a file format other than SketchUp that is scale agnostic, such as DWG files, the drawing unit field down here is also editable. This is where you would input the correct unit used when the file was drawn to make sure that scaling is correct in Capture. It is good to know that you can also change the drawing unit at a later point under the properties of the imported object. So here again is the drawing unit field where you could have entered another drawing unit such as, for instance, feet. Feet is the incorrect drawing unit for these objects and as a result of that the imported object is too small. It's also worth taking a look at the materials. The materials were imported from the SketchUp file, preserving their original names and properties. Now, Capture does have a more advanced material model, so you may want to take a look at the imported materials and tweak properties such as smoothness and metallicity of the materials. And of course, the layers were also imported. In this case, all the objects were in layer 0, the red layer. Thanks for watching and hang around for the next episode.